And when we started this business 25 years ago, I made a promise to myself that I would not work so hard as to stop watching movies. And that's why we're here. Granted, y'all are watching a movie right now, so I guess that could have worked out if we would have just stayed. But traveling to film festivals is something we love, and this is one of our favorites. So tonight we're off to watch George Miller's 3,000 Years of Longing. And by the time you hear this, you can probably read the trades and find out whether we had a good time or not tonight. Anyway, we've been so blessed to have made so many great friends and to have made Austin our home over the years. Oh, shit. It's, it's really been a wild, Watch my wonderful adventure. Tim, what are you doing here? We're old now. Uh, Tim, I'm there's a microphone. Guys. Everybody, Tim Lee. And Speaking of energy, I do hope as Texans... Oh, wait, you should cut it off now because I'm going to make fun of Governor Abbott. I'm not supposed to do that anymore. <laughs> Tim Lee, everybody. Welcome. Yeah, uh, well, I, I, I didn't check the calendar. I was in Cannes like like an hour ago, and I was going to a high-speed jet. It, it's time zones. Yeah. Take the Concorde, etc. No, I said, I, 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 I've been here all night. I'm sorry. It's, it's just a lie. But, I, you know, this is where I want to be uh, because this is a pretty monumental night. Um, uh, I, remember, I remember that night 25 years ago. Um, Carrie, so Carrie hates being up on stage. Uh, she hates talking to a microphone. Uh, and I might have promised to say I wouldn't bring her up on stage. But hey, ladies and gentlemen, Carrie Lee, my, my co-founder and Alma Jackson, bring her up to the stage. Excuse me. You don't have to say anything. We kind of made this agreement years and years, 25 years ago, that you would be the one holding the mic, or I would. And uh, I would be the one actually running the show, making sure it actually stays in business and doing all the hard work. Ladies and gentlemen, Coburn and Carrie Lee! You want to say a couple words? No? Okay, great. I will honor that. Um, but geez, uh, we, were, we were, I don't know, we were 26 years old and uh, didn't really know what the hell we were doing. And so my first screening of Raising Arizona is nothing but a pit of absolute terror. And uh, so uh, we sold out that night. Um, and it was a, at the end of it, it was, it was satisfying. The very next day, we had two people show up. And we had about $10,000 left in the bank. It was like, oh my god, this is going to be it. Uh, but it, it just worked out. It worked out. Um, and I know you acknowledge all of the people that have been working here for so long. Uh, my, my God, even even tonight, I just show up in a, a, a damn you know pantyhose on my head, and that's my job. Uh, and you do it a lot. Yeah. But so to everybody who has made the Alamo Draft House possible over these last 25 years, thank you so much. I, I could not be a happier human being right now, and thanks to all of you, uh, uh, guests and teammates alike. So thank you all. Speaking of guests, I don't know if you're aware of this, but we have a special guest here. What? A special, a special guest? guest who you may or may not have been chatting with over there. So, I have right no idea who you're talking entrance. about. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Austin Mayor Steve Adler. Put your hands together! There you go, sir. Congratulations. All right, so let's hear it again for 25 years. Oh, 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 oh Carrie slid away. Did you see that little move she did right there? She's going to take her seat again. Oh, just that fast, right? Really right. You know, the, these 25 years is incredible. Just making it through the last two or two years has been awesome. You know, it's hit everybody in this city in lots of different ways, but it's hit some people in some industries and some businesses harder than others. You know, the folks that are working in hospitality, the, the, the guys that were, the folks that were in the bands, the, the servers, folks in movie theaters. It, it's just so great to have you back, to have this back, to have people sitting out again. So let's also hear for being back out together again. And then the other thing I, I, I would just touch on, because you know, there are people that are coming from all over the country to this place and, 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 and asking what it is that makes this place magical, because it is, and, and too many people are now noticing this is a magical place. You know, and, I, and, I, and I'm asked to explain a lot what it means that, you know, keep Austin weird. And 
because it's more than just something that goes on a coffee mug or on a, on a t-shirt. It, it's part of the culture and the people that are here. What that has... That guy, that was Prince. Uh, so. that, what, it, what it's always meant to me is that, that there's a higher tolerance for taking risk in this city than any city I've been to in the world. And taking risk means innovating and being creative. And I point to you and I point to Alamo and I said, you know, when, when the world needed people to reinvent what it meant to go out for, for a dinner and movie date, you guys came to Austin, Texas to do it. And, 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 and we do change well in this city so long as we stay true to what's important in our values. And that's what you and Carrie have done. So, since I'm mayor, what powers do you have as mayor? Not a lot. <laughs> Not a lot, but I do, but I do have the power to issue a proclamation. Ah. And so I have, and I'm going to share it now, if I can read it in the dark. Be it known that, we're at, since May 24th of 1997, Alamo Drafthouse Cinema has been a haven for Austin's film lovers, offering the best film, food, and drink all in one seat. And whereas Alamo Draft House Cinema has for 25 years been instrumental in helping preserve and defend the cinema experience all around the world, and whereas Alamo Draft House Cinema has been a magnet for creative and, and fiercely talented people and has birthed world-renowned organizations such as Mondo and Fantastic Fest, yes! and the Union, and the American Genre Film Archive, and whereas Alamo Draft House Cinema, built by a pair of 20-somethings of in a converted Colorado street warehouse, is now one of the largest and most influential cinema companies in the United States, entertaining millions of guests each year. And whereas Alamo Draft House Cinema, made it through the fire of the pandemic, resuming their rapid expansion, continuing on their never-ending mission to be the best damn cinema that has ever or will ever exist. Now, therefore, I, Steve Adler, Mayor of the City of Austin, Texas, do hereby proclaim May 24th of the year 2022, 25 years later, as Alamo Cinema Draft House, Alamo Draft House Cinema Day in Austin, Texas. Mary and Tim, congratulations. Thank you, sir. So, before you leave the stage, I'm going to put this on this box of Huggies right here. I'm going to drop this can of beautiful Live Oak. So, one little thing about Live Oak, um, we had six taps at the original Alamo Draft House on 409 Colorado. Uh, Live Oak was one of those original six taps, and that's part of the reason why we're here today. We've been partners, fans, uh, collaborators for many, many a moon. But I happen to be holding a sword, and we have a tradition here at the Alamo Draft House Cinema. Uh, this is a tradition that harkens back to the Napoleonic era. So uh, apparently, when Napoleon would go to war, he would gather his top soldiers at the Moe Chandon estate, and they would all take out their Napoleonic sabers. And this is a, uh, a $20 replica of a Napoleonic saber that I bought on eBay. Um, but still, the tradition still holds. So what they would do, they would take bottles of champagne, and with this sword... Oh, sorry, did I almost cut you? Yeah, I don't know. I'd, oh, that would be really unfortunate if I cut the mayor's face today on our 25th anniversary. Um, but... If you were to cleave off that bottle cleanly, then you would be victorious in battle the next day. So you might as well drink some champagne and enjoy yourself. But if that bottle were to explode in your hands, for example, then, well, there's nothing you do. So you might as well enjoy yourself and drink as much champagne and, as you want. So here today, uh, we want to put a little stakes on this one. We have one bottle of champagne, and it's your job to hold this saber. I will be holding the bottle. And this is... Whether or not the Alamo Draft House will collapse in ruin 
No, I shouldn't do this. I've always been told not to do this because it'd be the one time that it really. Oh yeah, yeah. If there's anybody over here, uh, like John, John, you don't want to stand right there. Just like uh, move, move a little bit over. How about I'm not gonna put so much stakes on it. Hey, you know what? If if it's gonna shatter in my hands or I go to the hospital, then it's just gonna be a tough road for Alamo for the next 25 years. However, if it clean goes off cleanly, well, it's gonna be it's gonna be an awesome time with no pitfalls whatsoever for the next 25 years. That's a little bit smaller stakes, uh, and it's all. All in your hands, Mayor Adler. He just needs a little round of applause from the folks in the audience. 25 years, this is what we're gambling with. Here we go. It almost always comes off. Uh, but yes, but 25 years of power. Thank you guys so much for being here. Here's to another 25 years. Enjoy one of the greatest films that has ever been made. We got a few pre-show clips and we'll go straight into the movie. And uh, to my girls, Opie and Cece, uh, I hope you like this. This is your first viewing. So enjoy. Woo!